I feel like it's my, my due diligence really to just give back in the community. Joel Sinclair is all about assisting others. As an individual, I feel like I need the help. So that's what I'm trying to do. Particularly helping veterans. He enlisted with the Marines in 2012, following in the footsteps of his older brother. I was like, well, if he can do it, I can do it better. So I joined uh, the infantry. 0311 was my MOS. Joel bounced around the country with a mobile infantry unit. He would then be deployed to Japan and Korea in 2013. Did a lot of support, a lot of training with foreign nationals and different um, infantry groups from other countries. So it was a really cool experience. I then extended so that I could do a second UDP um, and we went back to Japan and Korea. Um, so I was a team leader throughout throughout all of that. You're kind of like a, for, a readiness force in case something happens. Joel got out of the military after four years and decided it would be best to continue serving in his community. So I figured I could make more of a social contribution if I got out and joined various different veteran organizations. He's the junior vice commander for VFW Post 2037 in Green Bay. I joined, you know, just to get back to that uh, brotherhood, that camaraderie thing. And, and the RVFW Post does we do a lot of different events. We had a tailgate zone at the, at the Packers Stadium in Lot 1. He's also an original sponsor of the Bravo Company, Northeast Wisconsin Veterans Battalion, helping our vets integrate back into society after their service. When you get out, if your plan falls short or something like that, or you didn't, didn't sign up for school in time and you're kind of just lost, um, this program's really focused on being that safety net. He's also a board member of the Wisconsin Veterans Village Association in Appleton, helping vets with affordable housing units. So any person that's ever signed on the dotted line, whether you're a reservist or you're in the National Guard or you're active duty or anything like that, if you sign, they allow you to be in these housing units. On top of being part of the Veterans Outreach Program at his job at Shriver Foods and a wrestling coach at DePere High School, Joel says the time is all worth it to help out his fellow vets. It's a balance. I mean, my days are fantastically full. Asking for help is sometimes the hardest thing that any, any person can do, especially I found with veterans. I mean, I feel as if I do something good for somebody else, they'll do something good for somebody else, and the world will be a better place. In Green Bay, Nate Stewart, Local 5 News.